This is McCook's Mr. Bill. It is an honor to have you here. You're looking at an awful lot of cropland. This happens to be wheat, but whatever cropland you drive by on the roads and see the vast amounts of agriculture in the United States, know full well that it happens because, mind you, because of pesticides keeping the bugs under control. In the third world countries, you will find that they don't. They don't have the ability or the wealth to buy pesticides. And they lose as much as 90% of their crops to the bugs, to the grasshoppers, every year. Is there any other options out there? Yeah, great big high six foot tall weeds. You bet. From last year, the bone dry and dead now. But you know last summer, they didn't have any bug damage. Millions of weeds, no bug damage. And it was done without any pesticide. No pesticide on them. Why? Not because they're poisonous to the bugs, no. It's because they don't like the taste of a weed. That's its defense. Its only defense in this world is it tastes bad to a bug. Most any other critter would much rather have crops than a weed. Keep that in mind as well. So what if, by chance, you would take weeds that are growing and you would turn them into a sun tea, crush up a bunch of the weeds, throw them in a blender, and then put that in some water, set it out for maybe three to five days out in a good semi-warm sun, as much as you can get in the spring, and make a sun tea out of it. Take that and spray on your crops, Spray maybe even on your vegetables and flowers in your own yard. Weeds. Give them the taste of weeds. And the bugs will damage them a lot less. Oh, they might take a first bite or two, but they're going to say, wait a minute, this tastes like a weed. I don't want it. I don't want it. Just like you don't want sauerkraut or, uh, you know, spinach, some other product, whatever it is that you don't like. This is doing the same thing. It pushes the bugs to a different direction. And what has God given us on this earth? One of the very first things to grow every year. Can you see these baby weeds? That's what these will be, six foot tall weeds in the summer. And they grow first. That means you can take these and make a bug, an anti-bug tea out of it and protect your crops. And they can do that around the world. And guess what? It doesn't cost anything, does it? It doesn't cost anything to make a bug repellent for your crops or for your garden. That's simple.